Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to solve for inequality x over x minus 1 plus 2x minus 4 over x plus 2 less than 4. Now, to do this, you always compare, solve the inequality by comparing 0. That means we're going to solve this inequality x over x minus 1 plus 3x minus 4 over x plus 2 minus 4 less than 0. Right. Then, then we'll, well, we'll combine the left hand side now. So they must have common denominator. Common denominator is x minus 1, x plus 2 is a common denominator. Then the first term will be x times x plus 2. Second term will be plus 3x minus 4 times x minus 1. And the last term will be minus 4 x minus 1, x plus 2. So I want this inequality less than 0. Okay, now simplify the numerator. So you have x minus 1, x plus 2 in the denominator. The matter will be x square plus 2x multiply out. Then plus 3x square minus 4 minus 3 again, minus 7x plus 4 and then minus 4x squared okay, plus 2x minus x you get plus x then minus 4x then minus 2 minus 4 is minus 8 minus 2 minus 4 plus 8 so I want it less than 0 now notice that there are a lot of cancellation first of all that x squared and 3x squared will cancel with minus 4x squared. Alright, then collect all the x together. We are going to have, alright, so minus 5x minus 4x is minus 9x here. 4 plus 8 is 12. x minus 1, x plus 2, less than 0. Right, you can divide both sides by 3. So divide both sides by 3, the inequality should remain the same. We get minus 3x plus 4 over x minus 1, x plus 2, less than 0. Right, by dividing both sides by 3. Now to solve this inequality, now you can look at some key point. So the interval real line is divided notice that minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0 when equal to 0 when x equal to 4 over 3 and then x minus 1 equal to 0 and x equal to 1 and x equal to x plus 2 equal to 0 when x equal to minus 2 so the whole real number line is going to be divided into three parts so the part is row number line so x less than which is minus 2 and 1 and 4 over 3 so you have an interval x less than minus 2 x between minus 2 and minus 1 and 1 x between 1 and 3, 4 over 3 and x greater than 4 over 3 Example for x less than minus 2 is for example x equal to minus 3. Example for x between minus 2 and 1 for example x equal to 0. Example for x between 1 and 4 over 3. Example x equal to 2 thirds. No. X and 1 to x equal to uh, 0 0.3. Or 1.3. 1.3 will do. Let's, let's, let's write this one as 1.3. 1.3 is between 1 and 1.33. Example x greater than 4 over 3 is example x equal to 2. And now you test the factor. So the factor is become minus 3x plus 4 over x minus 1 x plus 2. So now for x equal to minus 2, you'll find that for x equal to minus 3, the numerator is positive. The denominator is uh, minus 3 minus 1 is negative minus 3 plus 2 is negative so this is going to be positive for x between 
y2 and y x to go is 0, the denominator is positive, the denominator will be negative, positive, and this will be negative. And for x equal to 1.3, so 1.3 times 3 is minus 3 times 9, so the denominator will be positive, and then 1.3 minus 1 is positive, 1.3 plus 2 is positive, and this will be positive. For x more than 2, let's say x plus and 4 over 3, say x equal to 2, then the denominator will be negative. Then negative again, a positive. Two minus one is positive. Two plus two is positive. So this will be negative. So that means our solution now we want the factor to be negative, right? Minus three plus four over x minus one plus two is less than negative, is less than zero. So the solution is here negative. That means x greater than four over three, or or x between minus one minus minus 2 and 1. Therefore, the solution, you can write down, the solution is x between minus 2 and 1 or x greater than 4 over 3 to infinity. Alright? So, this is how the solution will look like when you solve this inequality. Now, I'm going to show you how class pack will handle the solution. Okay, let me call up my class pack. So the class pack, in this case, to solve this inequality, let me call my class pack here. So I'm going to solve this by going to the keyboard, and then I go to calculus, to solve, and then to go to 2D, you enter the fraction. Fraction, so I'm going to enter x over x minus 1, then plus the next term is equal to uh, 4 3x minus 4 over x plus 2 so 3x minus 4 over x plus 2 okay I want to be less than 4 so let me go to the option math option less than 4 Close the bracket, execute. So you find that x is between minus 2 and 1, x greater than 4 over 3, as expected from our solution. That is the end of our recording.